Hi there. Uh, in this example, we're going to be calculating the length of the radius of a circle given the endpoints of the diameter. So real quick, let's talk about a circle. All right. And a circle, um, and I'm just going to draw a circle here. If I wanted to talk about the diameter, the length of the diameter, all right, here are my endpoints, okay, designated here and here. Um, and the radius is the distance from the center um, to the outside, okay? So the diameter is that entire length, and then the radius is half that length. So we can say two things, all right? We can take the diameter and divide it by two, and that will give us the radius, or we could say that the diameter is equal to two times the radius, all right, and so what we want to do is use the endpoints of negative three, comma negative one, and uh, nine, comma four to to figure out this information. All right, we want to calculate the length of the radius uh, given these two endpoints. All right, so the first thing I want to do is use our distance formula, all right? And so our distance formula is given to us by d is equal to the square root of y2 minus y1 quantity squared plus uh, x2 minus x1 quantity squared, all right? And when I do that, I want to label these points as x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, same thing that would apply if you're using the midpoint formula or if you were using, say, the slope formula, same kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to plug these values in, and the distance that we're going to get from this, uh, let's do 4. <clears throat> All right, so we got 4 minus negative 1 quantity squared plus uh, 9 minus negative 3 that quantity squared, all right? From there, um, we want to evaluate that and do the math. So we're going to get um, 4 minus negative 1 is really 4 plus 1 squared plus uh, 9 plus 3 squared. And so from there, we're going to do uh, that the distance is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared. Uh, and so we're going to get 25 plus 144. All right, all I'm doing is taking 5 squared uh, and then 12 squared. That's what gives me those. And then let's add these numbers together. So the distance is going to be equal to the square root of uh, 169. All right, so then the diameter, the distance of our diameter is going to be 13. All right, so 13 units. Um, and so that's our distance. All right, and I'm using D and diameter kind of in the same same way. And so if we wanted to calculate our radius, all right, we would simply take our diameter, which is 13, and divide that by 2. All right, and you could leave it like this, leave it as 13 over 2, or you could, uh, you know, get a value of 6.5 units. All right, either way, those are both the same thing, but that's what you'd want to do, okay? Thanks, and please let me know if you have any questions.